Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Sorry about yesterday. I didn't give you guys any warning and I didn't do a video. I try to do a video most days, but sometimes life gets in the way of YouTube. Crazy, isn't it? I don't know if you remember this, but I got this mug from when we went down to Tennessee this past summer to the Smoky Mountains. And as you can see, there is a bear there. I think it is super cute. And I either use that one, which is sort of a purpley blue, or I use this burgundy red one that's just slightly smaller almost every day. They are just so comfortable. I don't know what it is. It has to do with, I think, how it curves in and then the lip of the coffee mug being thin. It's just so comfortable to drink out of. So I'm battling something going on with this ear today. So if I sound funny, that may be why, but basically it's, it's sort of clogged and it sort of hurts. And my husband's an ear doctor and he's looked in it and said, it's a little red, but it's not bad. And he told me just to try some Afrin for a few days and see if I can get it to open up because it really feels like it's clogged, but in a painful sort of way. So I almost didn't do today's video, but I figured I would go ahead and just do a chit chat sort of video and we could talk about just different things. First of all, I'd like to show you my bag of the day, and that is my Alma BB in the Rose Ballerine by Louis Vuitton. This is a beautiful bag. I actually got it off Vestair Collective, and they authenticated it, and I got it authenticated, I think, by two additional people. It came with all the stuff that comes with a new Louis Vuitton bag with the exception of the box because it does get pretty expensive to ship those boxes internationally. I think the person who sold this to me was maybe in Spain or France, but don't quote me on that. I love this little bag. I don't carry her much. She's one that I'm slightly afraid to use primarily because of the light color along the zipper overlay and then this smooth leather right here that goes around the bottom. But I know even the canvas Alma BBs have smooth leather around the bottom and it seems to be pretty hardy. Recently, I watched a video by Amber Ashley and she was doing a review on her Alma BB and, da and Damier Ben that she's had, I think, for three years. And on this bottom smooth leather bit, the only scratches that she had was basically just one across the bottom that she caught her ring on. So I really should just relax and use this bag. But speaking of using a bag, let me show you what I used yesterday and what is going on. So this is my Pochette Accessories new model in Damier Ben. And I used this yesterday to go to a University of Kansas basketball game, which they won. Woo! And I was looking it over. I hadn't looked it over in a while. I haven't carried it since this past summer, but I was looking over the areas that connect to the D-ring right here and this point and this point, just to see if the glazing was okay. I typically do not reglaze anything but inexpensive small leather goods or maybe a coach purse that, you know, costs less than around 500 bucks. I don't want to do anything myself on a super expensive luxury handbag. That said, I got this for a relatively reasonable price compared to what they are now. They're over a thousand dollars now, which I think is pure insanity. And I don't think I would pay that again. This particular color palette is discontinued. I have used this bag and there is some dissipation of the pattern just right on the corners where it is rubbed off. And with Damier Ben, it is actually black underneath. It's nothing you can notice when you're just looking at the bag, but when you look up close, you can see just a little bit of the corner rubbing on the piping and just the very edges. So I was looking at it at the game and I noticed that there was a small crack right here on this side. I mean, it's probably a quarter inch or less. And I thought, what should I do? If I send this bag in, they wouldn't be able to fix it because they don't fix cracked canvas. So what's the best scenario? Well, they could either tell me they're not gonna fix it or they could say, you know, we'll give you a credit and you pick another bag. Well, I don't want to pick another bag. I want this bag. So given that, 
I decided that I would apply just a tiny bit of E6000 glue right here to repair the crack. And I think I have it where you pretty much can't see it. E6000 glue can be removed with tweezers. So if you ever wanted to fix something temporarily, you really wouldn't have to worry about it being noticeable that you'd worked on the bag yourself because you could just pull the glue off. And so that's what I did. I'm trying to get it so where I have it be completely flush and it doesn't pull open when I move the tab. It's sort of in the experimental phases right now to see if the E6000 will keep this from opening it if I do a tiny bit of light twisting. And I don't want to do that yet. I did it last night and it wasn't good enough. So I did it again this morning and I'm just leaving it. I'm going to let it cure for a couple days so it can get really solidified. I mean, E6000 glue is flexible, so it won't get hard, which is why you want to use it with leather and canvas as opposed to super glue. But I'm going to let it just percolate and then see how it is in a day or two and see if I fixed it so where it's usable and I don't have to give it up. I don't want to give it up. I'm not going to give it up as long as I can make it usable where it won't get worse. So that is the sad story of another quality control issue with a luxury bag, but at least you can tell that I've worn this bag because it does have a little bit of wear on the edges. So it happens. Bags aren't supposed to last absolutely forever, even if they cost a lot. This is a sad story, but hopefully it ends happily with a successful repair. So next, I did a video recently called Bags I Quietly Returned, and that video has been one of my most popular videos, so if you haven't seen it, I will link it down in the description box, but I have a confession to make. I returned one of my Christmas presents. Ah! I know. So, I bought my own Christmas presents, and one of them was from my husband, and it was a diamond bracelet, and I will pop a picture of it or a screen grab of it in from the video where I did the unboxing here. And this bracelet was very beautiful, but I tend to wear this bracelet absolutely all of the time. And then I pair it with something that's in either yellow gold, white gold, or rose gold. So today I'm wearing this diamond ring by Rego Designs, and I'm pairing it with the two tones of metal that are actually in the ring. So when I went to wear that bracelet, with this bracelet, I could tell a noticeable difference in the diamond quality between the two. And so I never wore it. I mean, I could tell in my bathroom that the diamonds on that bracelet were not as sparkly as the diamonds on this bracelet. And that bothered me. That was point number one. Point number two is it was a quarter inch too big, which meant it hung down below this bracelet. So I was going to have to take it in and get it repaired. Point number three, when I wore it just around my house, like Christmas day when I had it on my wrist, it flipped over all the time. So I was looking at the back side of the diamonds and this bracelet never does that. And I have a gold bracelet with diamonds from Sam's Club that's fabulous and it never flips. And then I also have a rose gold diamond tennis bracelet that almost never flips. In fact, I don't think it flips at all. So that drove me nuts. And so I put it on my shelf. I didn't wear it. And it's been, you know, almost a month since I got it. I mean, I got it officially on Christmas, but I've had it in my possession for about a month. I was still within the return window. The tags were still on it. So I went ahead and took it back and I decided to buy a handbag with that money instead. And I did have to add on about $150 to get the handbag. So currently the handbag has been shipped to me and I will unbox and reveal it to you. It's the bag that I mentioned in my last video where I talked about the 10 luxury handbags I would keep if I had to sell 15 of the bags in my collection. And I'll link all these videos that I'm mentioning down in my description box. But I decided that I would just go ahead and go for that bag that I was considering. So this week coming up, I should have a Louis Vuitton unboxing 
Monday on Martin Luther King Day, if all goes well, unless UPS is closed, which they may be. And then I should have an additional unboxing of a piece of jewelry that I got from Morgan Jonathan. I thought that he was going to send me a whole package of things to show you, and he is, but in the interest of time, he went ahead and sent out the earrings that I purchased from him earlier so that I could have them sooner, since that's something I'm going to wear. And so I will unbox those with you. And then I have the Gucci unboxing that happened as a result of the return. So that's what I have going on. And one more thing, I got this gorgeous sweater. It's like a, I should try it on for you, but I'm not dressed to try it on. Maybe I can try it on next time. But the material on this sweater is amazing. It is so like, it's almost like sateen sweater. I mean, it's not shiny or anything, but it just feels so good and slips over your body. And it has these really cool buttons on it. You see there? I think they're actually metal. Sometimes the buttons on these sweaters that are from H&M or Express may be plastic, but I think these are metal. And this retailed at Express for $118. And I think I got it for around $40. They are on sale. I had $15 in Express cash, so it would be a little more for you if you wanted to get it. But... It is so comfortable and I think it's elegant too. It kind of gives you those Chanel vibes. It's got the, the cream going all the way from top to bottom around the neck and then at the cuffs of the sweater. And then it has these little pockets, which are real pockets. And they have these buttons, which are real buttons. So they do open, but I thought that was super cute. I seem to be saying I think everything's super cute today, but I did want to show you that in case you wanted to buy one. I took a medium. I'm usually a medium. It's very comfortable. It's not a small medium, but it's not oversized either. And I'll make sure to link that down in the description box if you want to pick one up. So I think that wraps this video up. It's kind of a chit chatty video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.